going to show you a video clip of Chris Lasala just going on this blasphemous rant about Jesus Christ not being God. And he's like, Jesus Christ is all these, these things, but he's not God, you know? And Brian showed this clip in one of his other videos, but he only showed part of the clip. I'm going to show you like the full thing, just the full blasphemous rant that Chris Lasala goes on and refute him with the scriptures, by the way, because if you're a Christian, it's not up for debate on whether Jesus Christ is God. Um, if you're a Christian, you believe Jesus Christ is God. If you don't, you're not saved. Okay. Plain and simple. So check out this blasphemous rant he goes on and be warned, it is pretty vexing. So just heads up. So check this out. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's the Christ. He's Lord. He's the Messiah. He's the only begotten Son of the Most High God. He is God by given authority from the Father, but He is not the Most High God. He Himself said, None is good but one, the Father. They called Him good. He said, Don't call me good. None is good but one, the Father. The Bible says there is one God and one intercessor between God and man, the man, Jesus Christ. When Stephen was being stoned in the book of Acts, after Jesus already died and resurrected, he looked up to the heavens and saw Jesus Christ standing next to God. So, Jesus Christ cannot be the Most High God. He is the Lamb of God. He is the Son of God. He was speaking to one of the apostles. And they said, he said to them, Who do you say I am? He said, You are the Christ. You are the Son of the living God. He said, Very well. My Father in heaven revealed it unto you. He did not call himself the Most High God. The apostles did not call him the Most High God. The demons did not call him the Most High God. In every epistle it says, Blessed is the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, I know what I worship, meaning he worships somebody. He said, I will go unto my God and your God, so he had a God. So, if you want to call him your God, I'll accept that. If I, I've called him my God, but he's definitely not the Most High God. Because he was sent by God. He is God manifest in the flesh in terms that God revealed himself through his son. Not in terms that God was literally him. That's why on the cross he said, Father, I pray that you take this cup away from me, but not my will, but your will be done. Separate wills, right? Can't be the same person. He can't be the Most High God. Is he a member of the Godhead? Yes, he is. Jesus Christ is a member of a Godhead. Does the Godhead have, does the Godhead have a triune nature? Yes, it does. Does God the Father have a triune nature? No, he doesn't. He has a Godhead. And in his Godhead, he empowers his Son through the Holy Ghost. Isn't that pretty vile? I mean, just... Total, totally blaspheming God. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's not God. He's not God. He's the Son of God. He's the Messiah. He's Lord, but he's not God. He, he cannot be God. You know, just total blasphemy right there. Let me show you some scripture. Uh, my notes here. John chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. Here's a good one that Christless Satan, like, you know, the way Brian calls him, Christless Satan, won't handle or and won't show you. Because he's like, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, but he's not God. You know, yeah. John chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. If you don't know, the capital W, Word of God, is a reference to Jesus Christ. It says, in the beginning the Word was God. Hmm. Jesus Christ is not God? Well, according to the Gospel of John, he is God. So who are you going to believe? Chris Lasala or the Gospel of John? Uh, Colossians chapter 2, 2 verses 8 to 9. Colossians 2, 8 to 9. Now I'm going to want to use against these heretics. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8 to 9. Beware lest anyone spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. He's not God. Uh, why does the fullness of the Godhead dwell in Jesus Christ bodily? 
kind of proving that Jesus Christ is the body of the Godhead. He's not God? I don't think so. He is God. John chapter 14, verse 9. Another good one to use against these heretics. John 14, 9. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father, and how sayest that thou then showest the Father? You've seen him, you've seen the Father. Oh, but they're not the same. They're two separate persons in heaven. You've seen him, you've seen the Father. They're one being. The Son of God and God the Father are the same being. Now, there is separation there. I, I, don't, I don't deny that. The body and soul can separate, but it's one being, three in one. 1 John 5, 7. John chapter 12, verse 44 to 45. Last one I'm going to go to. John chapter 12, verse 44 to 45. Jesus cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. And he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. Hmm, he's not God. So he's saying that if you believe on, on him, you're not believing on him, you're believing on the one that sent him. And then he confirms that by saying, you've seen him, you've seen him that sent him. Oh, they're not, they're not, Jesus is not the most high God. According to Jesus Christ, he's the same being as the Father. You've seen him, you've seen the Father. If you're believing on him, you're believing not on him, but on him that sent him. That's simple. So don't be deceived by these Pharisee-like heretics. I mean, Chris Lasalle, he's, he's a, he, I mean, Brian's right, he's a Pharisee. Because the Pharisees in John chapter 8 denied that Jesus Christ is God. And so does Chris Lasalle. He is a true Pharisee. He's a child of the devil. He's very, very wicked. Uh, he's a, a Pharisee, a, a prideful, Pharisee-like, charismaniac child of the devil. That's what he is. So don't be deceived by these types of heretics who deny that Jesus Christ is God. He is God. He is the Son of the living God, and he is God. Manifest in the flesh. Three in one. That's the Godhead. 1 John 5, 7. So, don't be deceived by these heretics. God bless you. Goodbye.